Hey guys, sorry about the lighting, but I'm going down to um, a ridge where I can roost some turkeys. And some favorite things I like to use are um, uh, or just mouth calls from a turkey for a turkey or um, a crow call. So I'm going to be taking you guys along with me down to the end of the street. This is going to be a little short video because I'm going to be trying to um, get my big brother on a turkey. Um, what is it this weekend? So stay tuned, guys. We're going to try to roost some gobblers for Friday and Saturday and uh, hunt these guys pretty hard this, these last two weeks of season. They might be hand up, but uh, we're still going to give it a go and uh, hopefully um, roost one tonight and maybe put the smack down on one Friday or Saturday. So stay tuned, guys. We're going to get down there, do some crow calls, maybe even some turkey calls, and uh, see what they like and uh, find out where they're roosting so we can set up on them for an evening hunt on Friday and then a morning hunt on Saturday. I'm very sorry about the lighting, but uh, so I'm on top of a hill where there's some turkeys roosting down below me, above me somewhere, and out in front of me. Um, so I'm going to bottle some crow calls. It might be a little hard to hear with the waterfall right down the hill, but um, I'm going to lot some crow calls first, see if I can get these gobblers to answer. And uh, I know there's some roosted way over there, um, down the uh, hollow. So uh, let's see what we can hear, and uh, I'm gonna start calling. So to start out, you want to pick out a place where you know these turkeys can hear you. So I'm on top of a hill, not on the very top, but I'm hitting down to a valley out in front of me. And uh, so these turkeys are gonna hear me for a long way going through this valley. So you want to pick a spot where you can hear, and um, also where it's gonna sounds gonna carry. Also pick a spot with. Um, mature uh, mass trees usually, such as like oaks and uh, other uh, cherries and stuff like that work really well. So to uh, harbor turkeys that roost there, like uh, trees like these. So let's uh, give a few calls and see if we can't hear some turkeys. Okay, so we're gonna give it a go now. Alright, so that didn't work. We're gonna give it a try with some turkey calls now. This is hopefully this will work. But even then I know where these turkeys are gonna be roosted if we can't hear any tonight. If you guys heard that, I don't know if the camera could pick that up, but I just heard some turkeys gobble and where that hollow I was talking about, way over there. Way off. I don't know if the camera picked it up. I hope it did, but uh I'm honestly gonna say I doubt it. But um uh so yeah, we're gonna hunt those turkeys I guess. I know these turkeys gobble. Uh, or not gobble, but uh, roost all around here, all in these big oaks. So we're going to stick to this area up here, up here, and in that hollow area on Friday, and uh, and then try to get one to answer us on Saturday in the morning. I hope this helped you guys out on roosting turkeys, like where to roost them, um, what trees to look for, and what habitat, and what calls to use. You can also use owl calls. Um, those work just as well. Or even coyote calls. They'll howl at those even later. So I suggest you guys go out there before season and do it, but I never hunted this spot due to the fact that I killed one before this. So um, we're going to hunt this Friday and Saturday, like I said, and we're going to try to get on some turkeys that day. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. Stay tuned for the Friday and Saturday hunt, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.